exactly one side of the analytic distinction, analytic synthetic distinction. If there's a meaningful proposition out there, it is either analytic or synthetic, but it can't be both. It's one or the other, but not both. Now, I guess the first thing to do is to ask, what would prove the distinction false? prove it false? Can we imagine something or, or describe something that an argument that would prove it false or, or a thing that would prove it false? What would be the first thing that comes to mind? All right, I've got this claim about absolutely all meaningful proposition. What would prove this? Yes? If this is a guide. How would that prove this distinction false? Well, it is, uh, it is, who would that, how can we prove that he is in chapter one of the essay? Then the fourth man is not the story. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Uh, it mentioned that uh, who would ask to prove that uh, this is God that he is in the essay? Well, I, um, can you prove the existence of a square circle? or a cubicle gas giant planet. I mean, that would be the thing that I, my response to that would be, can you prove the existence of God with this system? No. Next question. Right. People want to believe that God exists, or some people do. Um, but if, they, if someone comes up and says, I can prove that God exists, you might ask, are you talking about a concept? or an existing thing. And if they say a concept, well, you say, well, concepts are not things that it, are not uh, arguing about concepts can't prove that things exist. And they say, OK, I'm talking about something that exists. Right, they don't, do they say that, do they say that God exists? Or do they say there are no cubicle gods? Right. Analytic propositions are, are, are sort of like, there are no of this of this, or if this is true, then that is true. They're always sort of conditional statements. Right. Is the claims about God like that, or are there claims that God exists? They're claims that God exists, right? So Hume would say, well, you can't prove God's existence with purely analytic reasoning. You have to use synthetic reasoning. You have to have some evidence. So I want to back up. I don't know how believing in God or, 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 or the, having the idea of God would contradict this. Right? God is something that other people, you know, if you say God exists so this can't work, well you have to prove that God exists first. Right? So I'm asking what would, if we could prove, if we could bring something up you know, if God exists, then it's, his existence is proved by synthetic reasoning. It doesn't contradict the system. What kind of thing would we have to bring forward to give an example of it, right, would prove this wrong? Well, there are actually two things that could prove it wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to stop lecturing. I've run out of pens. 